If you want to start streaming at 1080p and you are working with a tight budget, this video is going to be for you. I will show you a budget PC build that's going to be amazing for gaming and streaming at 1080p resolution and I will also explain to you the level of performance that you will get. That way you understand me even if you are new to PCs. The link to all of these components will be down below in the video description and with that being said, let's start. For the CPU we have the AMD Ryzen 5 55 and with this a 6 core processor going for $98 and for streaming 6 cores is the sweet spot especially if you are working with a tight budget. In terms of performance, you can expect a Hangman 44 Plus FPS on average in games like Valorant, Fortnite and CS2. So if you want a Hangman 44 or even a Hangman 65Hz monitor, feel free to buy one. Then for the motherboard, we have the ASRock B550M Pro 4. This one is just a Hangman $5 and it has plenty of features for gaming and for streaming. Then for the memory kit, we have a 32 gigs of RAM kit in the Silicon Power Gaming Kit. This one is a DDR4 kit at 3200MHz CL16 memory and having 32 gigs of RAM is actually needed if you're going to do a streaming. If you're just going to do gaming, you can get away with 16 gigs, but if you want to do streaming, 32 gigs of RAM is going to be the sweet spot. Then for the storage, we have a 1TB Gen 3 SSD that you can always upgrade to 2TB down the line if you feel like you need more storage depending on the games that you play. Then for the graphics card and the most important component when it comes to gaming and streaming in this case is the Intel Arc A750 and the reason why I went with Intel is because it has AV1 encoding which is going to make your streaming quality much better if you're going to stream on YouTube. Now for Twitch you cannot use AV1 encoding at the moment but there are some rumors that in the future you are going to be able to use it therefore it's actually worth having this encoder since trust me the streaming quality is going to be much better. In terms of gaming performance with the Intel Arc A750 you can expect 80 plus FPS on average at 1080p high to ultra settings in most titles. In one of the latest tests from TechSpot on a 15 game average at 1080p the RTX 3060 was able to average 79 FPS which is very similar in terms of performance as the Intel Arc A750 and that's why I say that you can expect 80 plus FPS on average which is a really nice number considering the amount of money that you are spending and also the fact that we are talking about high demanding titles on high tools settings. If the Intel Arc A750 is much more expensive when you're watching this video, let's say it's $220 to $210, then I recommend you going with the Intel Arc A580, which is a slightly slower, but it has AV1 encoding and it's going to give you amazing streaming quality anyway. And if we are talking about just gaming and you do not want to do streaming, then my recommendation for the GPU would be different. But since we are talking about streaming plus gaming, the Intel GPUs, in my opinion, are the best ones when it comes to price or performance for streaming. Now for the case we have the Montec Air 100 ARGB Micro ATX Mid Tower case. I love this case honestly, it has 4 pre installed fans, from mesh panel, amazing airflow and it's just $60. And last but not least, we have the power supply in the Apipia Prestige 600W 80 plus gold power supply, which is going to be enough for this type of build. And the total price for this system is, is $615 if you get the Intel Arc A750, and it's about $600 if you get the Intel Arc A580. So, in the end, you are getting a great system for 1080p with no bottlenecks that will be able to play smoothly 60 plus FPS on average in every title, 144 plus FPS on esports titles, and you are getting great streaming quality. Plus plus 32 weeks of RAM which is going to make the experience smoother. If you have more money to spend you can get Nvidia GPUs with AV1 encoding or go with the RX 7600 but in that case tell me in the comment section and I will give you the ideal GPU depending on the games that you play and the games that you want to stream that way I give you the perfect GPU for you. And also if you have a higher budget then I highly recommend you watching my video on the best PC builds of the month. You will have that one in the top right of the screen where I go over every budget and every resolution. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.